Welcome back to my class. Today I am going to explain arithmetic progression. Exercise 1.2 10th question. The 17th term of an AP exceeds its 10th term by 7. This is so simple question. If you understand the meaning of this sentence, you can be able to solve this question very easily. What is given? The 17th term of an AP. So, how to represent the 17th term? A17. Is it clear? 17th term of an AP exceeds the 10th term. 10th term by 7. That means, the 17th term will be more than uh, so that means 10th term more than 7. 10th term value, if you add 7, you will get the 17th term. Let me read the question once again. The 17th term of an AP exceeds its 10th term by 7. By 7 here uh, is more, how much more? 7 is more than uh, in 10th term. So, 17th term is uh, exceeds its 10th term by 7. So, A17 is equal to A10 plus 7. If you frame this by reading this question, then remaining thing is so simple. So, how to uh, substitute the value for A17? Because we don't know A value, we don't know D value. So, write the formula as it is. A plus 16D is equal to, what is the 10th term formula? A plus 9D plus 7 as it is. So, bring all the term in one side. So, A plus 16D. If you bring this A, this side minus A. If you bring minus 9, minus 9D is equal to 7. So, plus A minus A will get cancelled. So, 16D minus 9D. What is the answer? 7D. 7D is equal to 7. Subtract the number and put the greater number sign. Now, 7 is in multiplication with the D. So, multiplication will come as division. 7 divided by 7. Therefore, D is equal to 1. They ask you to find the common difference. This is so simple question. D is equal to 1. Next, I will explain the 13th question. How many 3 digit numbers are divisible by 7? So, we know... Uh, 3 digit number starts from 100. Am I correct? 100 to 999. So, in between these number, how many numbers are divisible by 7? We are going to find out. So, let me find the first number divisible by 7 because 100 is, in, uh, is not divisible by 7 table. So, how to find out in a simple way? Divide 100 by 7. 7 ones are 7. Remainder 3. Now, bring this 0. 30. In 30, 7, 3 sa 21, 7, 4 sa 28. So, 7, 4 sa 28. Reminder is 2. Correct? That means, if you subtract 2 from this 100, that number will be perfectly divisible by 7 table. But if you subtract 2 from 100, what will be, what will be the 98? 98. 98 is a 2 digit number. But according to the question, it should be a 3 digit number. So, what we are going to do, 2 plus 5 will form 9, correct? So, this 5 we should add with this 100. So, 105 is the first number. So, divisible by, single by 7. So, first number is 105. Remaining numbers you can add up 7. So, with 7 if you add, you will get 112. Next, 119. So, we can find out the last number also by this method. So, how to find out the last three digit number is 999. Correct? So, divisible, divide by 7. 1 7 is 7. Remainder 2. Bring the next digit. 7 4 is 28. Remainder 1. Bring the next digit. 9. So, in 19, how many 7s are there? 7, 2s are 14. Remainder 5. So, here what we are going to do? If you add 2, it will be a 4 digit number. Correct? So, we should subtract this 5 from this 9. So, the answer is 994. 
the last number will be 994 now you know you come will come find out the sequence that is the ap arithmetic progression so for according to the give uh, thing what is the first value that is a 105 what is d value obviously it is 7 so how many digits are there so we should find out how many terms forms this first term second term third term this 994 will be which term so if you find out that you might know you will find out the number of terms so use a n formula a plus n minus 1 into b so here a value you know b value you know a n value also you know that is a n is nothing but the last term so just substitute the value 994 a value is 105 plus n we do know keep as n as n itself into d d is 7 now as i said whatever we are going to find out that should be always in the left hand side so that will be easy for calculation so just bring all the left hand side to right hand side right hand side to left hand side so here no need to change the sign because we are simultaneously changing both the sign so n minus 1 into 7 is equal to 994 now bring this 105 that side n minus 1 into 7 is equal to 994 this is in addition addition will comes as subtraction 105 so if you subtract 994 105 if you subtract 889 now n minus 1 this 7 we should bring 7 is in multiplication multiplication will comes as division let me do the division so 889 by divide by 7 7 ones are 7 carry over 1 14 Remainder four nine seven seven sa fourteen eight. That means n minus one is equal to hundred and twenty seven. Now n I need so bring the one also that side minus one will comes as plus one. So one hundred and twenty seven plus one is nothing but one hundred and twenty eight. So this is the final answer. That means how many numbers are divisible number? Uh, there are 128 numbers which are the three digit number divisible by 7 so this is the final answer thank you